Good morning, dear students. Now today I am going to start activity five. Divide using long division. Write the quotient and remainder. The short form of quotient we write Q, and for remainder we write R. But first we mention that quotient is Q, and remainder is. Ah. First, two hundred seventy-six is divided by two. Now we divide it. Two hundred seventy-six is the dividend. We write it here, and two is the divisor. We write here. Now we first we see the single digit that is equals to the divisor. So one times. Goes that is two ones are two we write here then subtract it zero comes then this digit we write it here and this is greater than the divisor now turn the table of two two ones are two two twos are four two threes are six two fours are eight that is more than this number so we can take two threes are six subtract it then one comes then we write this six here. Now tell the table of two. In table of two, sixteen comes at eight times. We write eight here, eight, and we write here sixteen. Now we subtract zero and zero. This is our remainder. We write R, and this is our quotient. We write Q, and here we write quotient. Is equals to one hundred thirty-eight, and remainder is equals to zero. Now the second is seven hundred eighty-four divided by seven. The dividend we write it here, and the divisor we write it here. Again, we see in single digit that the single digit is equals to the divisor. So one times it goes, and we write seven ones are seven. Then subtract it. We write zero here, and this digit we write it here. And this is the bigger than the divisor. And again, tell the table of seven ones are seven. We write here seven. Subtract it. Eight minus seven. Then one comes. Then again, this four digit we write here, and tell the table of seven. In table of seven, fourteen comes. How many times the fourteen comes? The two times. So we write two here. That is seven twos are fourteen, and fourteen we write it here. If we multiply these two, then this number comes. Now we subtract it. Zero zero. This is the remainder, and this is the quotient. We write here quotient is equals to one hundred twelve, and remainder is equals to zero. Now the next is nine hundred seventy nine is divided by four. Now nine hundred seventy nine is the dividend. We write it here, and four is the divisor. We write here. Now we see the single digit that is not equals to the divisor. So we tell the table of four, and we know in table of four nine not comes. We see the nearer number. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Three times is more than this, so we can take two times. Four twos are eight. Subtract it. Then one comes. We write this seven here. Again, tell the table of four. That four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty, and it is more than this, so we can take four times. Again, subtract it. Seven minus six, one. One minus one, zero. And this nine, we write it here. Then tell the table of four. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. That is more than this. So we can again we can take four times. That is four fours are sixteen. We write here. Subtract it. Nine minus six, three. One minus one is zero. This three is the remainder. 
we stop it here because here is no digit so we cannot write it here so we stop here and this is our remainder and this is our quotient write here quotient is equals to 244 and remainder is equals to 3 Now the next is 967 divided by 8. Then 967 is the dividend, so we write here, and 8 is the divisor. We write here. Again, we see the single digit, single digit. That is 9, and 9 is more than our divisor. So we tell the table of 8 that 8 ones are 8. Two times it is more than that. So we write one times. Subtract it. Nine minus eight. Then one comes. We write this six. And in table of eight, sixteen comes. Then we write eight twos are sixteen. Again subtract it. Then this zero comes. Then we write this digit here. Now you see this digit is smaller than the divisor. So. We write here zero. Eight zeros are zero. Zero times it goes. Then subtract it. Then seven comes. And here is no digit, so we cannot write it here. And seven is our remainder. And one hundred twenty is our quotient. So we write here quotient is equals to one hundred twenty and remainder. is equals to 7 students note here please note it down that if the digit is smaller than the divisor then it goes zero times then we write here zero and below digit we write it here zero and then we subtract it It is clear